Oh my gosh, hi you guys. So I didn't plan this video. I kind of planned this video, but I didn't really plan to start filming today. So I just got home from the mall and I, um, this is my first haul. And I, the reason I say haul is because I spent a lot of money. I just really wanted to pop one here and show you guys real quick. And then I'm thinking tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up right early and try out every single product. So I have them all in my purse because I was trying to hide the bag from Tim when I came in. So the brand that we're playing with today is called Milk. You guys haven't heard of Milk? I'll tell you all about it tomorrow because I'm rushing through this. I got the Luminous Blur Stick. And I'm really, really excited about this, you guys, because I had the little tiny blur stick sample, the regular one, but I liked this one because it gives a dewy finish. So it's just a stick that you just put on. It is a blurring primer made without silicone that leaves a sheer finish. I live. I got the much talked about Kush mascara. I haven't actually taken this out of the case yet. I will read all about it tomorrow morning. I got the mini holographic highlighter stick. I'm super excited about this. This is so cool. Are you ready? Look at that. Like what? Okay, the next product I'm super excited about. This is the cooling water stick by Milk. This stuff is so cool. I was with my friend and I tried this on my hand. This is the other primer and it actually feels like cold to the touch when you put it on. Though so, like I'm excited to use this under my eyes in the morning when they're puffy. That's what I'm gonna try out tomorrow morning. Okay, so next I got the Flex Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm really, really excited about this. It's not the lightest concealer. I really wanted to use this for like work purposes. So it's actually kind of dark on my skin. However, I the only reason I did that is because I thought I would get a little bit more tan in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so the next product I am so excited for. This is the Matcha Detoxifying Mask. And I wasn't really planning on getting a mask, but they kind of sold me with their packaging because it's so different from the rest of their stuff. It's like this really pretty mint, soft silicone feel. And the mask is just the stick. So you just put it on. So I might film that later tonight. I don't know. Next, next, next. I got the matte bronzer in the shade Baked. They only had two bronzer colors and I was really like thrown off by that because I thought, you know, like bronzer should be more complex, but oh my gosh, is this gonna be too dark for me? Why did I just do that? I don't even have a brush. Like I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I have a guest. I'm gonna go down there with one bronze cheek. Actually, that's really not bad. It just adds like a little bit of definite. Oh, now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm really excited. So I was watching Milk Makeup's like makeup videos that they have out on each of their products and they all use their hands. And like maybe it's a lifestyle, I don't know. And I'm using my hands right now because I just cleaned my brushes this morning so I don't actually have anything, like not even a beauty <laughs> blender to do this with. But um, it kind of bugged me that they used their hands. So I'm probably gonna use something else. Okay, so this next product I'm really excited about. This is the Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF 30. So this is lighter than a foundation, right? But it's buildable coverage. And it's so cool because it's this little roller ball and you just pump this up here and like swipe it on your face. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. It took forever to get the product out. This isn't milk makeup related, but I am wearing it right now. This is the Buxom Power Plum, and it is this really, really cute chapstick. And it's rounded like that. And it smells like eucalyptus or mint or tea tree. I don't know, something along the lines of that. And it's just a chapstick that you put on, but it changes the color of your lips. And it, like, at first it's very, very pink, but then it kind of, like, tones down a little bit. I love it because it's hydrating. It's also plumping. I got this in the color The Big O. That was my makeup haul. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. We're going to play around with some makeup. And I hope you guys are excited for this video because it's very last minute. I did not plan this at all. And I, I am so excited. I'm trying to get used to looking into the lens more rather than the viewfinder. So maybe I'll try that tomorrow morning. And we'll see how things go.
All right, see you tomorrow morning. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, you're in my bathroom, and that's because I figured I would do the detoxifying face mask tonight so that tomorrow morning I could really use the cooling gel for the puffiness in my eyes. I have my e.l.f. Cosmetics face wipes, and I'm going to, oh, that's the worst feeling. I'm going to remove all my makeup and then try this mask out. Okay, so don't mind this. Should have put my hair up, but I forgot to. Oops. All right, so I'm gonna go throw my hair up and I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this on for. I usually don't keep my masks on for any longer than like 15 minutes, but we'll see. All right, I'll check back in. I'm back. So yeah, that whole 15 minute thing, this has been sitting on my face for probably a good hour. So I think it's time to wash it off. This is what it looks like up close. It's still very soft, like it's dry, it's not wet not wet, but my skin, like I can move my skin, it's so nice. So, that was really close. I gotta stop bringing you guys so close to my face. I gotta look, keep you back there. Okay, so my face, like besides this, just ignore that, um, definitely looks less red, looks more calm. So that's exciting. Still got a little bit and like a crease in my nose. Okay, I'm gonna go lay on the couch and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and I'm looking a little red, a little rough. So I'm just gonna jump in to the routine. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is if you can see underneath my eyes, it's a little puffy. So as I pick each product up, I'm gonna be reading over the description of each product so that you know the intended purpose for it so we can see if it works on uh, this. So first thing first, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is made to depuff using rich minerals, and then it also is infused with seawater to soothe and hydrate, as well as caffeine that supports microcirculation, giving skin an energized, glowing look. So the first place that I'm actually going to use this product is under my eyes. That's actually really nice. It like feels cold to the touch. I probably don't need that much, but I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna do it on the tops of my eyes too. Wow, that is really cooling. Like it feels so good when you put that product on. And I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers. The next product I'm gonna go in with is the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. This blur stick is an oil-free, silicone-free, luminous matte primer that glides on for a glowing, shine-free finish. So it is like the blur stick, which I did have a little sample of right here that I was using and I loved it, but I've been really into the sheer looks lately, so I wanted to get the luminous one and hopefully it adds a little bit of sheer underneath of my makeup. It's really funny to read these as a biologist because I'm like, are you just fooling people or are you being serious? Because the description actually says, I'm reading it, it says powder filled blurring microspheres absorb oil to mattify skin. The creamy formula goes on translucent to create a gold golden pearl infused glow on all skin tones. So I have really bad pores right here and right here. So that's probably where I'm gonna focus it the most. All right, now I'm just gonna rub all that in. It does feel slightly heavy on the skin, but if you're used to wearing pore blurring primers, you're probably used to that feeling because pore blurring primers tend to feel a little heavier on the skin. So that's normal, nothing like standing out and making me think that this is like so terrible to deal with. I mean, it's fine. It's just like professional. It's just like the optical illusion urban decay primer. It's just thick. You can't help it. You're trying to fill in the pores. So now that that's on, I wanna go in with the Flex Concealer. I'm not sure if this was too dark for me, 
but we're gonna try it and I clearly have something to conceal. So that is gonna be the first thing that I go in for. One thing that I really, really like about Milk Makeup is their packaging. It's very different and it's really nice for on the go. So I think if I am traveling, which I will be doing soon, it'll be really nice to just kind of pack all this stuff up and head out the door. One of the things that attracted me to Milk Makeup that made me want to just go out and spend a lot of money for it was the fact that I am really trying to embrace the fact that my skin is clearing up and in doing so I want to have products that aren't so heavy on my face anymore. So I still want a primer, I still want a concealer, I still want some sort of foundation but I just don't think I need to use the same products that I have been using for years because before I had really bad cystic acne and textured skin that I was trying to conceal. So I'm going for a very very natural look now and I think so far it's doing really really well. Like this concealer looks great. This is where all my acne was really bad, so I have a lot of scarring and pigmentation over here, as well as up here. You get 0.2 fluid ounces. Let me grab another concealer. Um, in the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, you get 0.176 fluid ounces. So this is 0.17 and this is 0.2. And then in the Age Rewind by Maybelline, you're getting 0.2. So these two are the exact same amount of product. Allegedly and one more I can compare it to is the makeup revolution concealer and this has 0.14 So actually these two have less product than these two Interesting, so next I am really excited about this. This is their sunshine skin tint with SPF 30 like from a ginger myself. Thank you milk makeup I cannot tell you how hard it is to find a product that I can use that's buildable and like it's light coverage But it's buildable to full coverage that is Beautiful and has SPF 30 in it So the way this works is you pump it and the product actually comes out around this roller ball You can see the product has started to come out and now I'm gonna take this and just roll this on my face. Now remember what I said, it's buildable. So it's probably gonna be very, very light to start and I can just build it up if I need more coverage. And like, that's nothing new, okay? Light coverage foundation, light coverage concealer. All of this isn't new. However, all of this is new for me because like I said, I've dealt with acne for so, so long. I have always been someone that needed heavy, heavy coverage and now for once in my life, thank you, balance, I don't. So I'm gonna try this out. Also, this concealer is made with marshmallow. That's crazy. I've never heard of anything made with marshmallow before. This has olive oil and avocado and something else in it. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna just test out the build ability of it all. I'm not trying to really cover anything. I just wanna see if it can be buildable as they claim. When I watched the video of Milk introducing this product and everyone was using their hands, I was like, that is so unsanitary, oh my god. Like, why would they ever do that? But one thing I did realize is I put my moisturizer on with my hands, I put my eye cream on with my hands, like, yes, your hands are full of bacteria, but it's nothing new for people to put product on with their hands. So I told myself to calm down. <laughs> And even though I'm using a beauty blender, that doesn't mean I'm too good to use my hands. I just really wanted a good first impression of this product. And so far, I'm loving this. The primer definitely felt heavy after I put that on, but this feels good. Like, I could go all day with this. I hope it lasts all day. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is, this is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. It is a stick bronzer. It's in the color Baked. They only have two shades of bronzer. I was like, 
I'm really light skinned. Like usually when brands do that, it doesn't work for me, but I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> so it says that this is a creamy matte bronzer stick for the face and body that provides an immediate hydrating warmth. Matte bronzer is a sun-kissed bronze in a stick. Swipe on this creamy, lightweight matte formula for an instant all-over warmth, or swipe and sculpt strategically to contour. Mango butter and avocado oil combined with Milk Makeup's Milk Melt technology to instantly absorb into skin, blending quickly and easily while simultaneously nourishing. Oh, it smells good though, it just smells natural. This is so dark on my skin. And then we blend. Ooh. Ooh. This is so nice. And you can see that sheerness that's from the primer. I think I definitely put too much on. I definitely put too much on, but it's okay. We're gonna make it. Work. Although it's very light, it spreads like butter, which is probably that mango butter that is in it. So I'm gonna try and like drag that up and down so that it's not so harsh. One of the things I forgot to mention about the Sunshine Skin Tint is it has antimicrobial silver in it so that the product does not oxidize and it never changes color. Like, although you can definitely tell that I'm wearing makeup, it just looks so, like, naturally sun-kissed and light and, like, sheer. I love the sheer. I'm here for the sheer. Yes. So this is their holographic highlighter stick. This can be applied to cheekbones, lips, and eyes. So I can literally put this all over my face. I can put it on top of makeup. I can put it on bare skin. I got it in the color Supernova. It is such a pretty classic holographic color. They did have a really pretty pink one that I was also thinking about getting, but I'm just gonna try this one. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Are you guys falling in love with these products as I'm doing them? Cause I am head over heels with everything. I actually thought I was gonna be returning some stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I told a few people that. I was like, I'm definitely gonna be returning some of the things that I purchased. But now, knowing that like I could wear this and still feel this light on my face, like I'm not wearing make any makeup at all, is addicting. I don't even have my eyebrows done, but I feel totally good about going outside of my house right now. I did want to do a little bit of a quick eye look. So bear with me. And I have my Juvia's Place palette, the Zulu, and I love, love, love this palette. And I've been dying to get into that green, so I think I'm definitely gonna use that, but I need some browns. I'm gonna try a nice little brown. Oh, I just, mm. I just washed all my eyebrow brushes. So I'm just gonna do something quick with my fingers. Keep it the, you know, whole milk makeup vibe and do it with your fingers, right? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that green. I do have one brush right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that green and I'm just going to brush that right here over at the front of my eye. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take some of this yellow and I'm just gonna put that right there in the center where those two colors meet. And then a little bit of that brown right there on the edge. I love when I find makeup that has just changed how I look at myself. Like if I look and I'm like, ooh, you like yes so now that I just like did a very very short and sweet uh, makeup look I'm gonna pop on some of the milk Kush mascara Ew, I kind of hate how this feels but 
Um, it's very heavy. And like it has these, I don't know if you can see them up close, but it has these ridges in it. Can you see that? And those, like they make a weird noise. Oh, all right, let's try this. That is so pretty. I'm in love with this mascara. High volume, unique heart-shaped fibers thicken lashes for long-lasting volume, length, and curl. It's naturally lit. Cannabis oil nourishes and conditions for healthier looking lashes in one hit. And puff puff brush catches, curls, and coats a pure pigment intense black formula for defined plump free lashes. Okay, so last step, um, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. exfoliator. Kinda rub that over my lips. So this next product that I'm gonna finish this look off with, I got as a recommendation from a friend who got a trial size and absolutely loved it and was like, you need to get this. So here I am using it. Um, it's by Buxom and it's called the Big O Power Plump. So it looks like this. It is this clear chapstick that is supposed to plump my lips but also it adds like your own unique color depending on the color pigmentation in your lips. So even though it is pink, not everyone's pink is the same color pink, which I think is really cool. So I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop using it. And I just rub that on. And like it's chapstick. And it adds a nice little bit of color to my lips and it plumps them and it feels really good. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I love milk makeup. I can't say it enough. I really just wanna go get more of their products. Like, I really wish I would've gone and gotten their blush. Their products are so universal and that's what I really love. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Give this video a thumbs up, tag milk in it so that they can like maybe sponsor me, I don't know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and maybe next time I go and splurge on a brand, you'll be able to know when I upload it if you hit that notification bell. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, I really liked making this video. It was a short and quick video. This was not sponsored. This was not planned. I have just really been wanting to try this brand for so long and I could not just get one product. Like I had to get a whole array of products to try out and I love it. All right guys, I will catch you in my next video. If this is my first video that you have watched on my channel, again, my name is Lulu. Welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. And until next time, bye.